everybody, it's Mana, and I'm coming to you with day 18 of 30 ink 30 days. Yeah, I don't, that, <laughs> this wasn't a great intro, but hello, I'm happy to be here. I wasn't expecting to be able to get to record this during a timely fashion because I've had some, had people here today. So anyway, here is our dried splats. Um, somebody asked if, um, I think it was Angela, if it was a uh, sticky and I do get like the barest hint of transfer onto my thumb. I mean, my thumb's pretty dirty and covered in ink, but um, um, like in the sheeniest bit, I get a very the very barest hint of transfer. Um, nothing, nothing really on the paper, but um, yeah, on this swatch here, like if it's. Trying to see where's my where's my card. Oh, I also grabbed the card for Tesla coil, so you can see how they can compare. Um, this is more of a turquoisey blue. This is more of a blue blue, and the sheens are a little different. This is a more pink, and this is a little more red. But since I mentioned them, I've mentioned them together in the comments a little bit. So, um, so yeah. So I thought you'd like to see what those look like. But in this um, sheeniest bit up in the corner here, if I touch it. I get, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, if it's going to focus, but I get the very, like, some blue specks on my thumb. I don't think it's going to focus. I get some blue specks on my thumb, but it's not sticky at all. And neither is Tesla Coil. It's not sticky. It's not like Organic Studio, although this has just a cat hair on the swatch. Um, But yeah, like Organic Studio, like, probably those swatches, I could still smear them. And I swatched them, like, three, four years ago. But um, yeah, these seem to be pretty well behaved, so... In case you were looking for sheeny ink that uh, behaves well, I would I would re recommend. Um, in my experience today, with this one I've been using both. I've been using both pens actually to make notes. I've been using the broad nib to kind of like highlight because it's such a thicker it's a thicker line. So highlight like things that I need to focus on and then like make like the actual notes with the fine nib. So having the combination of these two pens today has been really nice. So, yeah, so that was our um, inks from yesterday. Also, one more bit of housekeeping. Um, somebody asked, I think it was Tracy, asked um, ha what uh, Colorverse Dirty Red is closest to, if it was uh, between Fire Coral and Sailor Manya Ume. And in case anybody else was curious, I already showed her, but in case anybody else was curious, Fire Coral is probably the closest, although it's a little, it's a, it's a little different. It's not quite as cool toned I would say it's a little warmer maybe you know I don't know this leans a little this seems a little more p like a pinky red to me and this seems more of a red red to me and then this is like a warm red so I would say probably fire corals kind of in the middle of these two but uh, dirty red is closest to fire coral so in case anybody wanted to know that and wasn't either you know either if you have this and yeah just in case anybody else wanted to know I already answered Tracy's question but there just thought I'd share the knowledge because if one person's wondering more than one person is wondering so okay so we're going to pick our ink oops let me shake this well, so you'll see that um, the bin is a little less full. I figured there's only 13 days left in the month and um, I had lots of duplicates from people. So I just like pulled, I pulled them all out and made sure at least one sample was in here from everybody that um, I hadn't picked yet. And then threw in some extras that I liked. Um, my goal is to have like 15 or 16 samples in here. So when I get to the end of the month, there's still some um, there's still some suspense about what I'm going to choose, but, um, and then I ended up, like, I could just kept adding them, so I think there's, like, 20 or 20-something 20 samples in here, so there will be a lot left over still, but, um, yeah, that way we still have some suspense about what I choose, and, um, yeah, I don't know, because it's fun. It's fun. It's fun when you know for, like, the 30 seconds that you know what, what I have. I don't know. I like doing it. <laughs> So I've decided no matter what ink I choose, I was going to force the ink pick, but I've decided not to do that. But the pen that I'm going to use is the one that I wanted to use yesterday. It's the uh, Pilot Vanishing Point, the Teal Turquoise, or Tropical Teal, and it is the uh, 2019 Special Edition pen. Um, this is a gift from Ms. Turtle. She um, was very super generous to send it to me. 
And yeah, it's only ever been eight. Well, I don't know her history with it, but I know that she used Pilot Orochizuku Takasume with this pen often. And so when I received the pen, I also put Takasume in it. And pretty much that's what I've had in this pen. I have it um, attached to a traveler's notebook where I take some notes about things and it's just kind of been the combination that has been there. But I decided to clean it out because I wanted to use it during pen, pen, pen Friend Appreciation Month. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, but the nib unit I needed to let soak the other day and I let it soak but forgot to take it out of the water so it could um, dry. Anyway, I'm taking my pen apart so I can, I'm going to syringe fill it because it's the stupid Con 40. Uh, oops, I'm just throwing my notebooks all over the place. Let me grab that. It's going to be like 100 degrees here today. The next couple of days. But I know it's like really hot like that, like in Colorado. I have a friend that lives in Colorado and um, a lot of my friends are, you know, in Texas and I have like a group chat going with some of my um, like high school friends or whatever and um, and she was like she sent most of the group lives in Texas so she sent a picture of like her car dashboard with the temperature and was like take your weather pack <laughs> except not only does she have it but now I have it too what the heck okay so we're gonna mix this up and yeah and see what we pick Right. I'm going to choose from the right side again just because apparently the right side has not gotten in the love that it should get from from me during this this 30 30 days so we'll go back to picking wherever I choose next time but we're gonna make sure that we choose from the right side and I'm going to grab this one and hopefully it is in the frame I can't tell if it's in the frame I'm like peeking a little to see if I can see if it's in the frame but I can't tell so anyway so we'll find out what we have in just a moment Let's go ahead and get our papers ready. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do I need to make do I need to make more? Oh, I might need to make more um Tomoy River squares. Have I gone through them already? That was so fast. Yeah, I don't see any right here. This is where they were. Okay, so we'll find out what ink we have and then I will. And then I will, oops, and then I will, oh, nope, I found one. One. I'll have to make some for, I'll have to make some for tomorrow. Like, I don't know why my camera stuff is like all out of black all of a sudden. Okay, anyway, let's see what ink we have. This is, ooh, nice, Lennon Toolbar Sun Moon Lake Black Tea. This is like another like orangey brown situation. Do I have the, I don't have the swatch here. All right, ooh, this is gonna be pretty in that pen. Oh, okay, I'm looking forward to this. Okay, so let's go ahead, since I'm gonna syringe fill it. Oh, I like syringed way too much. going to syringe fill it and then and then I'm going to okay put that in there I might need to dip the nib unit but we'll see what we get we'll let like gravity sort of do its thing okay so I need to that's way too much ink. Okay, so let's, okay, I need to weigh that down. All right, here we go. I'm like talking to myself, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so here we go, let's let. I'm gonna fuck that one up a little bit and then do that. Awesome! These are lovely. This is lovely. So, okay, so we'll have to compare. I'll have to get the... Oh, I don't 
don't have my cards here. I'll have to get the cards tomorrow and show off how this fits in with the um, SBRE brown lore. <laughs> Where do I have them sitting here? I thought I had them here. Oh, maybe I do have it here. Oh, snap. I might have it here. I do. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So we can do this right now. I don't have to wait. London Toolbar is a brand that I actually love. I love the ink of. Before we move on to all of our stuff. So here's our ink of the day. Here's that. Here is SBRE Brown. And where is my Purdy and Sons? Okay, maybe I can't do this right now. Is this it? No. Mm. Oh, there it is. So here it is next to Lita Tay and SBRE Brown and then Single Malt. So there we go. So those kind of the last like brownish inks that we've used. Okay, so let's see if this is writing yet. I'm not sure if it is, but we'll try. It is not, so we're gonna go ahead and dip this. I'm gonna take the nib unit out. Maybe I will prime the feed. Okay, we'll see what that does. There we go. Yay, we did it. Okay. I can already tell the shading on this is going to be amazing. This is day 18 of June 2021. Ink. is linen toolbar sun moon egg black tea and pen with a medium nib. And this is the 2019 special edition. So I won't be able to do like the nib things because that's really hard to do with the vanishing point. Um, but yeah, look at the shading on this ink though. It's so pretty.
All right, so the ink was a generous sample from the wonderful Tasha. She um, spoiled me rotten with the fun inky care package she sent. Thank you so much for introducing me to this lovely ink. She sent um, a variety of samples and also was very generous with a um, bottle of Bunga Box ink of, ink of Witch, which is one of my favorite inks, and I'm just so grateful. So thank you for that. The pen is also a pen friend gift. Can't even see. Okay. The pen is also a pen friend gift from the always hilarious and super generous Ms. Turtle. It was a true surprise and one of the gift giving truce catalysts. Um, because I don't know if you've noticed or heard, but I like to give I like to give people presents. <laughs> see half of Creepy Nibs' channel the last like year, or so and we kind of and also see Ms. Turtle's channel for um, some some gifts that I have given her and um, yeah like it was it was one of those things where it was gonna go down a path of like trying to out gift people and so we called the gift giving truce and um, before or including that after the truce was called um, this showed up on my doorstep um, so yes yeah, so thank you <laughs> So thank you both, Tasha and Miss Turtle, for uh, these lovely, um, wonderful things for me to use. I appreciate both of you very much. Appreciate, whoops, appreciate everybody who sent stuff in, whether I've gotten to use it this month or not. Um, you know, there's only so much time in a month, so um, yeah, but we have 12 days left after this, so we're going to cram in as much as we can. Um, but I'm not going yet. I still have to do this page. I still have to do this page. I'm gonna zoom back in a little bit. I should tilt the camera again. So it's not like, it's an, at a weird angle for me, but it's not for you, which is really what's important. I know lots of people, if you haven't used a vanishing point at all, kind of like wonder about the clip placement, if it bothers you. It doesn't really bother me. I like having the orientation. It's like a orientation point for like how I need to hold the pen. Um, some people will remove the clip. Some people will remove the clips, but then you have like ugly holes here. So I just, I don't know, like I, I hold it maybe differently than I do like a like a normal like a, a normal pen but um, yeah it doesn't bother me Um the like only thing that bothers me is after a while like I think the vanishing point is a touch too um, girthy like bigger it's like too big around and then the decimo is kind of like too small for my part for my hands I prefer something like kind of in the middle size wise like a little bit smaller than this and a little bit bigger than a decimo I think would be perfect but um but yeah I really enjoy writing with vanishing points and I like the clicky the clicky action it's good for uh, note taking I like using them at work and meetings if I have to I mean not that we've had many meetings these days but um yeah if i have to take quick notes it's i don't know i like it i find it um to be very convenient but i understand that it's not for everybody because this really bothers every really bothers some people and i think it depends on how you hold your pen um but i hold my pen fairly standardly i would say maybe um 
and I, you know, sometimes I, I don't know, sometimes I will find myself holding it where, like, I'll, I'll hold it a little weird, but, um, yeah, I've not had any problems with it being uncomfortable. This ink is so pretty. I'm hoping that you can see like all the shading on it. It's really pretty. I know that I was like, I'm banning earth tones, but I'm glad that I kept this one in here. <laughs> um, although I didn't actively like remove certain things. I just kind of pulled them all out, made sure to stick one from everybody that hadn't been chosen yet back in the box and then started, I was like, oh, this sounds interesting and this sounds interesting and threw a few extras in, so. Because I think it was the Shimmer Month where I literally picked like 30 and then the last day, like the second to last day, we knew exactly what I was going to pick. And it seemed a little anticlimactic. So now we still have a little bit of suspense as far as what um, ink I choose. Do, do, do. The shading, not the sad, the shading in this ink is very ugly. I will say that I, I'm a fond, I'm a fan of shimmer inks and I really love shading inks. Shading inks I can take or leave, like I don't feel like I think that comes down to the specific ink, I think, whether or not I like it or not, or also my mood. But I really, really, really love shading. Like, it's the, it's, you can just have a normal ink and you get some shading and it provides your writing with interest. Now, flat inks are just fine as well, but like when you get a little bit of shading, I just think it's really, it's really nice. Another warm, comfy earth tone. Perfect. For 100 degree weather. I know a lot of you live in the south and don't feel sad for me at all. I used to live in the south and I would also not feel bad for me, but I just want to whine about it so. <laughs> so thank you for allowing me to whine about it it doesn't so in the area that I live in I'm a little bit I'm in the Bay Area but I'm a little bit more inland so it does get warmer here um and um yeah there's our about we usually have like a good five you know three to five to seven days where it gets where it actually gets warm and um sometimes it won't cool down as much at night and so we have like a little heat wave that goes on for a few days but we're usually good for like one or two of those a year and then it goes back to normal where it's like 60 or 70 it's like 60 in the morning and like 80 at night in the afternoon and or 90 sometimes as like a really warm day but yeah, I love the weather around here. I do not miss, I do not miss Texas weather at all. Well, that's not true. I do miss Texas weather. I miss Texas thunderstorms. Because I love thunderstorms. I love them. But also not just Texas thunderstorms, because I grew up in the Midwest. So, I just miss thunderstorms in general. We used to sit on the porch. When I lived in um, the Midwest, you sit on the porch. It was a covered porch. Um, sit on the porch on the porch swing and just like vibe as the storm rolled in. Oh, so nice. So nice. Oh my gosh, I miss doing that. Like, it doesn't do that here. <laughs> and I miss it. But if it does on the random weird rare times where it will, like storm like where we might have actually thunder and, and lightning. Um, I, I can count on both hands the number of times that's happened. I've been here 14 years. Um, 
but yeah, people get scared. Like, I'm like, you live with earthquakes here. Why are you scared of a little thunder? It's just noise. <laughs> but anyway, you know, we all have our things. So where did my splat paper go? Oh, there it is. I put it in a different spot from where I usually do. So it's still drying a little bit where we, ha we had the heaviest ink down, but oh, that's really pretty. I love how that looks on this paper. We don't really get as much of the shading because it was kind of laid down pretty thick, but mm, yes, I enjoy it. Um, I think this is actually the bottom, but I like this being the bottom more, so that's what we're going to do. So day 18. One toolbar, I'm going to um, abbreviate that because it's such a long ink name. Sun, moon, lake, black, tea. Thank you, Tasha, for the ink. I am very excited to get to use this. I've been intrigued about it since um, you sent it. And so I'm glad that I finally got it in a pen. And again, thank you, Ms. Turtle, for the generous gift of this pen um yeah i use it a lot more than it shows up on the channel so um, i'm happy that it uh, got to be showcased today so awesome all right i'm gonna go make some lunch and yeah sorry i'm a little tired today so it's probably not as like the as it was yesterday but <laughs> But yeah, I'm very happy to be here and I'm happy to get to use the zinc. And I will see you again tomorrow with another 30 inks, 30 days. Take care. Love you, bye.